So you guys see me filming here week in and week out. When I come and visit you guys, one of the most common questions that I get asked is, hey, Nick, what campus are you filming at? What do you guys think? How, what campus do you guys think I'm at? Go ahead and just shout it out right now. Go ahead, shout out which campus do you think I'm at? Okay, do you guys wanna know? You ready? I'm not gonna tell ya. But what you need to know and what you need to understand is that this place where you're sitting right now is incredibly important. It's so important to your lives. And I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit. But until I do, let's go to this week's episode of Witness, Rise of the Way. In the near future, freedom is on the decline. The New World Army has taken over the world. But all is not lost. A young group of radical revolutionaries brings hope to turn the tide of darkness. Some may call them the church, but they call themselves the way. How exactly do I not break up? They just closed down the church. They closed down a building. A building is not a church. We are the church. This is Lieutenant Gage, section chief for the New World Army. When you meet a fellow believer, draw this symbol. They'll complete it like this. The New World Army has identified a rebel leader stirring up unrest within our city. This man is a threat to the public and must be apprehended. Tonight, I'm placing a warrant out for the arrest of Arthur Rhodes. Please prepare for a mandatory message from the New World Army. Good evening, citizens. The New World Army has completed the first of many home sweeps and successfully purged all Christian symbols. I ask that if you know of anyone violating the ban on religious activities, please report them to the New World Army. The New World Army thanks you for your cooperation. Rhodes, where have you been? Spreading the word. What's the matter, Foster? Things are getting bad. They're getting so much worse. So much, much, much worse. What'd you hear? They're doing sweeps. They're going into people's houses. Where's Mia? I don't know. She said she had to go get something and what if she's been captured? Oh man, this is so bad. They found us. It's over. If they oh. found us, they would not. <laughs> Mia. Were you followed? No, but they almost saw me. Oh, great, thanks for almost getting us caught. What was so important that you had to go out? I went home. I need to get this. You went out for that? Why? Because I'm not gonna let something so beautiful be destroyed. Are you? Please prepare for a mandatory message from the New World Army. Good evening, citizens. Although the Christian purge has been going quite well, I have some bad news that I must share with you. The following people have been identified as traitors and enemies of the state. These people might be your neighbors or friends. Their names are Marcus Brady, Edward Solomon, Foster Wims, Tracy Evans, Amber Locke. The New World Army thanks you for your cooperation. Ugh, that guy's like Darth Vader and the devil rolled up into one. They said my name. My life is over. They're gonna take me. They said Rhodes' name last week and he's fine. 
Yeah, but he knows what he's doing. Yeah, and so will you. It's time you learned how to prepare, to be ready for anything. Why? 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 Why, 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 why can't we just stay here? Why can't we wait it out? Yeah, seriously. Then you guys are just wasting your time. How? We have everything we need here. We can't afford to lose anything else. I hate to admit it, Rhodes, but I agree with Foster on this one. That is not what the church is for. If you guys are afraid of the New World Army, then, then you have no idea how big our God actually is. I, I, I get it that our God is big, but haven't we given enough? We've given our, our comfort, our lives. Back when the early church first got together, they didn't just sit around. They met together to grow, to strengthen, encourage each other. Isn't that, isn't that what we're doing? No, that is not what we're doing. We're hiding, and that is not what this place is for. Hey, don't take that. We need that. I'm on the run, too. Yeah, but you haven't been named. You should probably focus on gathering supplies for the rest of us, and you should sell that. I'm not selling this. It belongs to my parents. Fine. You want food? Here, that's all you get. Guys, bickering isn't helping anybody. Look, we have one enemy, and it's not each other. This is what Lieutenant Gage wants. He's tearing us apart using fear. And he's doing a good job of it. Well, that means I need to do a better job. And judging by the way you're acting, sounds like you guys have a lot to learn. We need to love each other. That's how the early church first survived. Over and over again, they met with each other, they studied together. They never fought with each other. They didn't even fight with other people. They prayed for their enemies. You want us to pray for Lieutenant Gage? Are you, that's crazy. It's not crazy. Once you realize everything that God has done for us, it's hard not to share that love with others. I get it. If we only focus on us, then we aren't doing any good. We need to be the light in the dark, no matter how hard it gets. This is not our destination. This is just a step in our journey. And while we're here, you guys need to get acquainted with God's word. Please prepare for a mandatory message from the New World Army. Good evening, citizens. It has been brought to my attention that not enough is being done to reveal the location of the traitorous rebels. As a result, the New World Army is offering a $10,000 reward to anyone who can reveal the whereabouts of the fanatical group known as The Way. According to our intelligence, members of The Way identify themselves using this symbol. If you see anyone displaying or using this symbol in any way, please report them to your local section leader. The New World Army thanks you for your cooperation. Great. Now there's a bounty on our heads. Fantastic. Don't let this rattle you. This is just a scare tactic. And it's a great tactic. They're offering a huge reward. And now people are going to be bending over backwards to sell us out. Well, then we need to step it up. If we live our lives the way that Jesus taught us, then Lieutenant Gage's message will sound more like an annoying gong. We need to fight fear with love. Okay, I, have, I think I have some equipment back at my house, uh, some camping equipment we never used. I think it can really help people uh, when they start showing up. Foster. That is the right attitude. Thanks. I'll tell you what. I'll go with you. I know the secret ways around the back roads. So I'll teach you how to navigate them. Thanks. I'm gonna go too. I can sell this. The jewels must be worth something. Something we can use. You don't have to do that. It's just a thing. Sometimes we have to get the things we love for something we love even more. Let's pray. Lord, thank you. Thank you that no matter the struggle, we can still come to you. Please protect us and keep us safe. 
Help us to show your love to those around us, even those who seek to destroy us. Let us be the light in the darkness and to let people know that there is a way. Amen. Amen. All right. Let's go show people the way. Let's do this. This is a lot of stuff. Great job, Foster. Yeah. I'm not afraid anymore. I want people to know that there's a place to call home. The church. Well, with this much stuff, we can definitely open up the shelter to more people. And that's what the way is all about. You know, I haven't seen Mia in a while. Do you think she got caught? No. If Lieutenant Gage caught her, we would definitely see a message about it. Please prepare for a mandatory message from the New World Army. Good evening, citizens. There are rumors on the street that the way has gone underground. That they hope are offering Mia. hope and secret shelter. Mia! Are you okay? Do you have any tips on this? Were you followed? No. Report to the local Whoa! Did you get all that? It's not all I got. Rose, I found I something. I need your help. On the capture of Arthur Rose. His group, The Way, has been spreading the gospel. Ugh. The story of Jesus. Okay. We can send him over here. Feeding okay. Can help you. Okay. Okay. Hope. The New World Army thanks you for your cooperation. We watched today that the group decided that they weren't going to hide from the New World Army anymore. They were going to start preparing for it. They realized that them meeting together wasn't to stay safe. It was to prepare and strengthen each other and start to meet each other's needs. We watched as Mia sold off her precious necklace so that they could have enough money to survive. Foster gathers all the food so that they have enough to eat. And Rhodes, he decides he's going to teach them about the early church and what it looks like to be the church. Because that is what the early church did. That's how they operated. Look at what it says in Acts 2, 42 through 47. It says this, All the believers devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, all the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had, all the while praising God and enjoying the goodwill of the people. And each day, the Lord added to their fellowship those who were being saved. That's why we come here to this place every single week. Like we read in that verse, it says that the people met together and committed themselves to the apostles' teaching, to learn about Jesus. That's what you're doing right now as you're sitting in your seats, looking up at me, looking up at the screen that's in the room. What you're doing is you're learning about Jesus and you're learning how to live like him. And then after the message is over, then we scatter throughout the room in our small groups, sitting all over the room here and over on that side of the room. It says in that verse that the people met together in each other's homes. They did life together. They met each other's needs. They got to know each other. That's what this place is for. That's what being the church is all about. You guys come together and meet together to help each other grow, to strengthen each other, and to encourage each other in your faith. That's why we come here. That's what being the church is all about. And so I want to challenge you with this. As we talk about meeting together and gathering together, if you want to be a part of the church, then you need to be committed to this. You need to be committed to showing up to this place every single week. Because if you come here every week, you will grow, you will be strengthened, and your faith will mature. That's what being the church is all about. And this church is all about Jesus Christ.